problem F14-5. <clears throat> when S equals 6 meters, the spring is unstretched and the 10 kilogram block has a speed of 5 meters per second down the smooth plane. Determine the distance S when the block stops. So starting out, we'll start out with T1 plus V1 plus U equals T2 plus V2. T1 is 1 half mv squared. We do have an initial velocity, so that has a value. Now V1, we'll call that mgh1, plus U, which is force times distance, and T2 is 1 half mv squared also. And uh, the potential there is the stretch in the spring plus mgh2. Now, if we draw the incline over here, and we have our block, it's going to move a distance d along the incline at which time it'll stop at the bottom of that. And the slope is 30. Now if I call this where it stops, h equals 0. That means h2 is 0 and this goes to 0. It also says uh, it's the block stops, so this one is 0. Well, if this is h equals 0, h2 is 0, then h1 is equal to d sine 30. So h1 is d sine 30. Coming back here, we got 1 half sorry, lead issue. 1 half m is 10 V is 5, M is 10, G 9.81, H1 is D sine 30, F is 100, it's acting along the plane that travels for a distance D, that's 0, 1 half K, which is 200 and x which is also d. So now we have an equation with just the function of d. Putting in values we get 125 plus 49d plus 100d equals 100d squared. That is a quadratic moving all to one side and solving and d equals 2.09 meters.